I'd like to call the meeting to order. Thank you. Mr. Cook. Here. Here. Bishop. Here. And Mr. Cook. Here. You have a point. I would like to take a moment of silence for uh, Mr. Richard Gordon, who just recently passed away, a uh, matter of fact, today. So. Thank you all. Richard's a good guy. Super yes, nice guy. Yeah. Very, oh, very yeah. good fellow. Too soon. The first item on the agenda is consider approval of minutes of the previous meeting held Thursday, June 2nd, 2016. Motion. Second. Mr. Gallagher. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Yes. And Mr. Wicker. Yes. Yes. Second item on the agenda is consider approval of public health tax rate for year 2016-17 for the Marion County Public Health Taxing District. Ms. Phyllis Filiatru is here with the health department. I want to say Marion County Board of Health, we got a meeting Monday, June the 13th, and we voted to change the current rate of 2.5% to 3.5%. Mr. I'd like to thank you guys for Fair managing right. the money correctly. A motion to approve. Second. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome to stay. Hey, Phyllis, excuse me, Phyllis. Who's the uh, chairman or of the Frank Southall. Frank Southall, Southall Pharmacy here locally. Now, does he do a very good job? Okay. Well, <laughs> just just let Mr. Southall know that the court is keeping an eye on him. Okay. Him all right. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Phil. <laughs> Second. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Clint. Yes. Mr. Make sure to print that too. <laughs> Item number three. We have Robin Humphers with us with Kentucky Classic Arts at Center Square. Here to give us an update on events and financials. Yeah. He's, he's coming, yeah, he'll be here. He likes to make a grand appearance. Yeah. Well, I'm, I think Larry provided him with directions, so hopefully he'll find it. You've got to ask permission anymore yeah. before you can leave house. <laughs> Good, how are you? Please stand. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was Leonard Milton. Thank you so much, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello. How are you? Good. So what I brought you today came last year, and the court gave us $15,000 to help with the Marion County Health Taxing District. And we're going to take a classic arts at Center Square. We picked that up in June of last year. And what I have for you here is just showing you our current financials through the month. And on the very last page is our projections that we did with our 501c3, which is filed. We're a 501c3 applicant. We should hear hopefully within the next few months about that. Our attorneys have gone over it with fine tooth comb, and so I hope there's not going to be any problems with that. It should be all settled. Last year we did a $60,000 budget. We have grown immensely in that amount of time. Have done so many plays and concerts and different events that we have going on. I know that you all are aware of a lot of them. One of the programs that I brought you was for Annie Junior, which is a specific thing the court asked us to do last year was to do a program with St. Charles Middle School. And so Annie Junior is the play that we just finished in May. We were able to go and start working with the St. Charles School in January. And we just let the kids come in, anybody that wanted to be in the play. They came, I think we had 25 students, and the parents you know, bought into the program. We brought them to Center Square free of charge, and we did a program with them. We're able to do a $12,000 budget show with St. Charles Middle School for free by adding on two weeks of a community show to that. And it was a great 
So if you didn't, I don't know if any of you got to come see it, but it was it was very well received. The kids had a blast and they wanted to do it again. So we were thrilled to do that with St. Charles. We just finished, of course, Music Fest last weekend. We had over 800 people in Johnson Field for a lot of great bands, and the Darty Girls got to sing. I hope some of you were, were there for that. I know um, Steve has got some great pictures for the newspaper. On the back of that program, you can see the things that are coming up, the back of the Marion County Music Fest program. We're going to do three movies for the whole month of July. And then in August, we have a concert every weekend on Friday night. So we thought, you know, we'll see how that goes. We're going to bring 1964 The Tribute, which is a Beatles tribute band that plays Carnegie Hall. They play big places all over. And we were able to catch them in here on a Thursday night. We're going to be in Nashville <coughs> at the big, I never can say this, Schalkenheim Center or whatever that big concert hall is in Nashville. They'll be playing that on Friday night. They're going to come in a day early and come here to Little Lebanon. I'm so excited about having them here. Um, we'll have Beatles tribute band. The next weekend, we have the Bretts coming back again from Branson. They loved it here last year when they were here, and so they're traveling back again. We've got them coming in for two concerts at 3 p.m. and 7 p.m., hoping to catch some Toby tours with that 3 p.m. show on a Thursday and be able to bring in some bus tours from here. What has limited us is the restaurants available to serve bus tours. If we bring in a group of 70, we have to be able to feed them all at one time. And I think, you know, with uh, Shiner's being open downtown and then also when ours being open for the restaurant, we're going to have that availability to bring in some public tour buses. Um, um, so much is going on. We just have a, a full season. We're booked all the way to December of next year. Exile will be here on December 2nd for a Christmas concert. And then we also have a country Christmas with local bands coming back probably for at least two concerts, maybe three, to put them on the, on the show. And any questions from you all about the you know, things that we have coming up? Or plays or concerts or events? No, I can't wait for uh, July the 15th, oh brother, where art thou? Oh, brother, where <laughs> I bet that? that's going to be good. That yeah. was Mr. Ferris' suggestion. You know, I kind of went to the board and I'm like, what are your favorite movies that you, yeah. you want to see or that you think? We thought about doing just old classics, which I love too, you know, Singing in the Rain, that kind of thing. But we thought we really want to get people to know that we have we have a movie theater, you know, in this town. We can do movies and we would love suggestions and we thought let's do a whole month of free, you know, popular movies and see if we can get people to come down. It's a good place to hang out and see entertainment yeah. and Lebanon. Our budget for this year, as you can see, um, has gone up significantly. So last year we wrote a sixty thousand dollar budget of fifty eight thousand. And the court gave us uh, fifteen thousand for our budget for this year. We're looking at one hundred and sixteen. If you can look at the top row, it says gifts, grants, and contributions received. So last year it was $51,250. That is in, we received $45,000 from 15 from this court, 15 from tourism, and 15 from economic development. So that was $45,000. We were able to raise almost another $7,000 in our ticket sales and things that we did. You can see that for this year, our projection is only 55000 in, you know, additional funding for that. And again, that is looking to, hoping this court will renew that 15000 But if you can look at our end, our total budget expenses are 116000 And we're looking at raising a whole lot of that ourselves through some of the programs that we're looking at doing. One of the things we want to implement is an arts explore program which is working with the schools to bring students during the day to center square and having them go to different art i guess teachers professional teachers to do dance to do visual art to do drama and to do music and the students would come to center square rotate through those different classes and be able to get their core content at the art center for those things and the schools not have to provide it and hopefully we would get each student in the I'd love to see each student in Marion County at least twice a year to come to the Arts Center, once in the spring and once in the fall. <coughs> That's going to take a whole lot of organization to set that up and hiring of those teachers. But I believe it's a program that we can implement. I have Emily Simpson here. She's, one of the, she's uh, just moved to town. Her husband, Jason, is on The New Reporter. And um, so that's one of the things I've asked. I've asked Emily to, you know, help me explore and put together a plan to see all the schools and to look at that. And so we're looking at possibly, hopefully, implementing that even this fall. 
We are also working with Marion County High School through the Counseling Center, Family Resource Center with Dee Sakomi, and we will be implementing a dance team for Marion County High School free that will be, in, you know, paid for and run in partnership between the school board and the Arts Center, bringing the students after school for free dance classes, and we're going to do a dance team at uh, Center Square for the students. So lots of great things coming up. Again, in order for us to expand staff and expand programming and that kind of thing, we need, we need help. So now, Ms. Simpson, uh, yes. what's your role? I'm sorry. Um, I, she's, she's looking at She hasn't accepted oh. it yet, but she came with me today. We were actually talking about it. Um, her <coughs> implementing that education program, an arts explorer program for the schools to come into. And are you the young lady that's been everywhere or whatever? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I mean, I just read the, I read an excellent article in Enterprise, and I was, you know, I, I thought that was an excellent article, and I, that's good to put a face with the article. So. Yeah, <laughs> been everywhere. Excellent. Looks, looks very well. Been everywhere. Yeah. Well, you know, if, you, if you read the article, I tell you what, it's well, very travel. interesting. Very interesting. That would so make a good, good to have you, Mary County. That would make a good song, well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Make a great song. Any questions? All of her's good reports. You're doing a good job, and a lot of people getting interested and getting. You've been having pretty good turnouts for the events. We saw. You know, I didn't bring you those numbers. That was That's all right. But I just to, to City Hall. We saw last year over twenty thousand people came yeah. through Center Square, either for a program with a ticketed event or for a rehearsal or <coughs> a lessons. We're doing guitar lessons. Um, we've had piano lessons and voice lessons to be starting back again. I'd like to see that building open six days a week for at least six to eight hours a day with all kinds of classes going on. We have the facility right here in town. If we have all those classrooms. There's still classrooms upstairs that are sitting empty. No one in the central Kentucky area has anything like this. You know, Campbellsville does not have an art center. Danville has an art center, but they don't have any classroom space, really. They, they do some lessons, but they don't have the theater that we have to be able to do what we do, and they do a fabulous job of what they do with a lot of art exhibits and stuff, but they don't have the space to do the teachers to do what we do. Barstown doesn't have it, you know. Perryville, on Danville, all these places all around, they don't have the facility that we have, and I really think it could be a draw for people coming in if we can staff it the way that we need to staff and be able to run the programs. In your, uh, in your expense or your uh, financial data here, the, the money that for professional fees, that's for your, uh, for the rights and so forth, is that what that covers? Not only for rights, right. So, um, for example, Annie, that we just um, did, the rights for that play were uh, $2,500 we pay okay. just in rights for the right to put on that play. When we do Patsy Klein, which we're slated to do later this year, it's looking like it's going to be October, November. The rights for that are going to be over $5,000, just because of different programs. It's also the paying these different bands that we bring in. And I'm getting some really good deals. It's taken, you know, finagling back and forth. But to catch people like 1964 the Tribute to come in on a Thursday night in a venue that only seats 323 people that we can afford, we had to have, you know, we're, we're not Carnegie Hall, <laughs> which, you know, when they play. Or even they were at Stephen Foster a few years ago. And, you know, they have a 1,400 seat venue. What a, and I saw where the, the salary and wages has increased quite a bit, so. That means that's adding additional staff. Okay. That would be adding additional staff. I'm still just part-time. supposed to be 25 hours a week. <laughs> um, but that's looking at, we'd really like to add an education director again to implement that Arts Explore program. Also, we'd really like a tech director on staff. I don't know if that's something that we can do this year. We've looked at several. But when we bring in, for example, Music Fest, that was a lot of lights and sound to get set up to do all those risers and that kind of thing. We have to hire that out piecemeal kind of thing right now because we don't have a tech director. I can't do that. So we have to hire that out. A tech director on staff would allow us to have somebody who would set that stuff up for us for every concert that we do, but also help with building our sets for plays and running lights and tech and stuff. So we're, you know, we're looking at probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars salary for somebody to come in to do that. It's not there's not a lot of money in the arts. People in arts don't make up a lot, but would help us to not piece all that out. Judge, I've got. Uh I've got three thousand dollars left in my community development funding, so I would like to uh, apply that toward uh, 
Kentucky Classic Arts. I would also like to give 2000 myself. I've got the rest of mine allocated. I'd like to give two. Because mainly, I, I really like that it's, it's involving a lot of youth and it's given even teenagers are getting involved and uh, all and ages. Old like and even old people, that's right. <laughs> but really for the uh, youth. Old people. <laughs> people like seniors, Masher, Wh seniors, Masher Wicker, Masher, Masterson. Middle aged. Say too. seniors. Senior Masterson. There you go. I am broke. <laughs> uh, I've got five for the out of my general welfare fund. I'd like to to give to the to the program myself. So I think that gets you up to ten. Uh, broke at this time, but next year is a new year. Yeah, <laughs> July. The you know, back in July. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, you know that's uh, that's that's recorded. That's an so, invitation, yeah. all right. Is there any other additional information that you'd like to bring us in that you'd like to see? Keith, you got a comment there? Yeah, I know when I played uh, when I played the Christmas concert and also the men's concert. They lifted up. Right. We have no idea. What are all these numbers you get on this, uh, this right here? No, I didn't see it. I looked at it. I didn't see it. Yeah. Scrooge? <laughs> no, he, he, Scrooge. he was a keyboard player. Keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, Mr. Brock can really rattle those keys, I'll tell you. Now, Robin, uh, Miss Humphreys. Wash your tub or keyboard? Also, <laughs> he played the washing tub. tub. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, just a thought. I've seen well, other no, communities do it. Or, you know, I think it would be I excellent. I know that the Darty twins are two of the two of the triplets, I should say, do an excellent job of singing. I would love to see you know their father maybe join them for an event. <laughs> I would I would pay money to be there as well we don't as want I, to lose money as, as well as <laughs> I've heard that I think I've heard that's for you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, and I've heard Jailer Brady has an excellent voice as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. We'll all back up, I promise you. I have asked you several times and your son oh, to come join us. You know, I, I, I know. Asked, um, I'm on the road. Asked, I'm on the road a lot. I asked, I asked Johnny to come for Healy and um, Annie. Yeah, you, you know, know been a great role for him, I, think he's, I think he's got time. He's yeah. uh, <laughs> and, I, and I'll push him tonight on that, okay? Absolutely. Also heard Master Bishop is quite a dancer too. So, yeah. you know, just in case you have any dance roles okay. available, so you know. if you ever invite all of you, please come. You, you know, hula hula. Hula. <laughs> there will be a big hula hoop. If you ever have a show that something needs someone with no talent. I mean, man. <laughs> <laughs> they can always use uh, someone to clean up afterwards. Like, like sure. a box. <laughs> I can, you know. Yeah. Maybe an announcer. Like, like a box or something, you know. Strong back, weak mind, I think is what he's he trying be, to say. He could be the announcer. There you go. Yeah. Because we've got people sitting in the table, people running What, what was the number you asked for? I'm sorry? The number you asked for, there was a number, wasn't it? How many? 
No. no uh, I asked for at least 15 is what you all gave me. And what, what, what we do? We, we've, got, we've got 10 available at this time, so. Uh, providing, we haven't voted yet, have we? No, sir. No. According to my figuring, I may have 300 left. If I do, I'll donate that. If not, I'll have to. Well, how about this? How about yeah, how about we stick with the ten because we know okay. we have that in the budget, well, okay. and then we can we've got new. Well, cycle I think I've out. got this. In you think my, you got that? Yeah. Okay. If, <laughs> if I don't, Kevin will tell me. But that's in my. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cochran, <clears throat> provided it's there. <laughs> you got any change left in yours, Jackie? You got a motion? <laughs> Not yet. Motion. Right. Second. Mr. Elder. Yes. Mr. Masters. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Quell. Yes. Twinkle toes. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking in the old oh, brother for art thou, there's that little convict scene that this court would probably be a good crew for that, the jailer I and think, our county attorney. So, you know. I think Craig and I could square dance. <laughs> yes. You're square. I, I will see. I will pay to see that. That's for sure. So. I'll leave. a movie, but we could do like some live action along Oh. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a little dance. Make everybody that. needs to hush. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Thank you, Rob. Thank Good you, Ms. Simpson. Thank you so much. Good to have you in Marion County. I'll see you in a couple months then. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys.